34. The Living God In our day, we read a great deal of nonsense about all religions leading to the same goal and having the same meaning. Such nonsense is especially popular among American sentimentalists and modernists. It was thus refreshing to read a book this week by a Hindu anthropologist monk who quietly set aside that idea. Hinduism de-emphasizes the personal and stresses the abstract in regard to God and man as well as the universe. Moreover, says Dr. A. Braherty, because of the different castes, quote, there are no universal rights, end quote, because a person's rights depend upon his caste. Without going any further, it's already clear that a vast gulf separates biblical faith from Hinduism and also from other religions. We believe in a personal God and an impersonal Saviour, Jesus Christ. There's nothing abstract or impersonal about our faith. We pray to the personal God about our most personal needs. He who gave his only begotten Son to die for us is, by his sovereign grace also, always mindful of us. Having already accomplished the great act of redeeming love on the cross, he finds our day-by-day needs and cares little things to handle by comparison. In an impersonal universe, we are very much alone, but with the personal God we have his word as a reminder of his concern. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Hebrews 13, 5 and 6 For this reason the early Christians declared, He is the living God. Are you alive to him?